Hey guys, Matt from Kentucky Range Time, back with the next episode in our 44 mag ballistic gel block test. And today we're looking at another Lehigh Defense bullet. This is the 265 grain Max Solid WFN for wide flat nose. And this is another all copper solid bullet. And it's just another devastating creation from Lehigh Defense. So let's get turned around here and take a look at the loading on this. And then we'll get out to the range and we'll see what this thing actually does in a lot of gel block. All right, so, so again, uh, CCI number 350 large pistol magnum primers, accurate number nine powder. Here is a quick look at the details on the bullet, and here is a zoomed in look at the bullet. So uh, like I said, whether it's upside down or downside up, this bullet doesn't look a whole lot different. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell if it's coming or going but there is a, definitely a big chunk of this bullet down in the case, so it does not leave a lot of powder. Uh, what do you think that's gonna do for penetration on this? Hmm. How about we go to the range and find out? So before we head out to the range, I'll need to add a quick editing note. Uh, I have lost, literally lost, the slow motion footage for this, uh, for this bullet test, and uh, my apologies for that, but does not change the dramatic effects of uh, the penetration for this bullet. So let's head on to the range and see how this thing does. All right, guys, next load that we're shooting in this 44 mag series is the Lehigh Defense 265 grain match solid. This is a WFN for wide flat nose. And uh, this is just a solid copper bullet and uh, no, special, uh, no special work going on on the tip like it was with Extreme Penetrator and uh, Let's see what this thing will do. First up, we'll be shooting it out of the Rossi 20 inch R92. And we did not get a velocity. Go see if we got, yeah, let's run one of these in the backstop. All right, velocity of 1224.9. Go check out the catch. All right, guys. We did not get the catch on the first shot with this uh, 265 grain match saw. So we're gonna go for round two here. Got a velocity that time. 1159.8, standard deviation at 32.6. Now let's go see if we got a catch to go with it. Here's our wound track, guys, and pretty much what we were expecting from this wide flat nose, just straight line penetration all the way down through here, all the way down, and actually, this is it right in here. Or it barely did kiss the steel plate right here at the back end. So we're sitting right on 48 inches of penetration with this bullet. That is some impressive results there. And it did kiss the block, so we probably would have got a, a, maybe a couple more inches. Uh, just barely, not even enough to leave a copper swipe on it. You know, we're at 48 inches plus on this bullet with the rifle. All right, let's go back and see what the Super Red Hawk does with it. Next up, Super Red Hawk with the uh, 265 grain match solid from Lehigh Defense. In the wide flat nose configuration. All right, so that one hit a little bit higher than what I was wanting. Velocity though of 1121.7. 
Let's go see if we got a catch. So here's a really good look at this wound track, and this is going to be probably typical with these uh, matched solids. Straight on through, and here we set. But this is not the whole story because we did kiss the steel plate right here, and it did bounce back into the gel block two and a half inches. So we're looking at 50 plus inches of penetration on this, and uh, you know that's out of that nine and a half inch Ruger. Jeep, or a Super Red Hawk. And uh, that is some pretty impressive penetration out of a handgun. All right, next up, Lehigh Defense 265 grain match solid out of the Taurus Tracker four inch. Velocity of 1061. Let's go check this one out. All right, wound track right here, just underneath the Super Red Hawk, and it tracks all the way down through here. And we did get a kiss off the plate again. You can see the little circle right there. And so we're at 48, and it bounced back, you know, a half inch. So we're probably looking at 48 plus inches of penetration again. I need more tables so I can throw another gel block up here. All right guys, so I've reset the gel block. I now have three full blocks and a half block at the back end of the table with my steel plates behind that. So I know we're getting down to the shortest barrel in the test, which was gonna give us the slowest velocity but see what it does. So this is the two and three quarter inch uh, Smith & Wesson Combat Magnum. It's an L-frame, model 69. <laughs> Velocity of 1,009.4 foot per second. <clears throat> So let's see what this one did. All right, this is our wound track starting right back here. Straight line penetration. We go through 32 inches of gel block and another four inches of penetration. Right there it lays. So 36 inches of penetration with a two and three quarter inch combat magnum and 44 mag. And I think out of curiosity, I'm gonna run one more in here with the Super Red Hawk and see if we can get through all of this. <laughs> all right, guys, before I leave this bullet, I'm gonna shoot one more of these with the Super Red Hawk and uh, see, we've got 60 inches of gel block up here, which is five feet with the plates at the end of it. And I wanna see what this nine and a half inch barrel will do without steel plates behind it. So let's see if we can uh, get another catch here. All right, guys, so I've changed the gel block up a little bit. Uh, I've actually got 60 full inches of gel block out there now with steel plates behind it. That's about all I can get on the table. I've got the blocks and the plates sticking off the front end and the, the steel plates or backstop plates are just at the back of the table up there. So that's about all my table is gonna allow. I wanna do a bonus shot with the Super Red Hawk nine and a half inch barrel and see if we can actually get through 60 inches of gel. All right, velocity of 1149.9, so 1150 foot per second. And let's go see if we got a catch. All right, guys, wound track with the uh, bonus shot on the Super Red Hawk. Nine and a half inch starts right here, works its way right on down and right on out the end of this gel block at five feet. And you can see right there before the bullet hit the plate and smacked out. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the slow motion and see which way this thing popped. This thing should be setting pretty close. Hopefully we can pick it up. Uh, so we went through 60 inches of block, bounced off the plate and I found it laying here on the ground. I'll get a picture of it coming up here in a minute. 
had a pretty significant dent in the bullet, even after going through uh, five foot of gel. And uh, I went ahead and put this block back together. I've got the front end of this nose way up off the front of the table and the gel I have block a full place behind it this time. I'm gonna do one more, a second bonus shot with this Super Red Hawk and see what this bullet will do. All right, guys, so here's the bullet from the first bonus shot that went through five foot of gel block and still hit the plate. Get this up here where you can see it. You can see that it did quite a bit of damage to the solid copper bullet. So we're gonna try one more. Super Red Hawk. So this is all the gel blocks I have with me today. So this is literally the extent of what I can test today. Let's see what we get here. Get a velocity on that one. But let's go see if we got the catch. All right, guys, bonus shot number two for the Ruger Super Red Hawk. Wound track is coming right down through here. Does a little bit of a curve right here and then tails off right about there. So this is the 36 three foot mark. This is the four foot mark. This is the five foot mark. And we're sitting here at about five foot one and a half inches of total penetration. So that is quite impressive, guys. That's so, right, guys. Here are our results. And this group right here is the original test group. Pistol, nine and a half, uh, four inch. And the only bullet that didn't make it through, what do we have? Three gel blocks up there. So 40... Uh, 48 inches of gel block and impact the steel plates in the back, which is what bent the noses on these, uh, was the two and three quarter inch. And, uh, you know, it pulled up there a little bit short of the plate. And uh, this is a, an unfired round. And then we did a couple of bonus shots with the nine and a half inch Super Red Hawk. And the first bonus shot was through like 60 inches of block. And we did make it through and hit the plate again. And then the last one, I had all four sections of gel block up there, as you can see in the video. And we did get a catch right before it exited the gel blocks and impacted the plate. So, so absolutely amazing amount of penetration from, from this bullet. Uh, all the way down, really, to even, even the two and three quarter inch. All right, guys. So, uh, this is a pretty extreme performance out of these bullets. And, and that's actually what you would expect from this bullet, just, just from looking at its design. So the spreadsheet's coming up and there's a, there's some really good data on there. Just to recap, uh, I actually took three shots with the Ruger. Um, I missed the velocity on one of those, so I didn't put it on the chart. So there's a Ruger shot one that says 48 plus. That's the, the first one that smacked the gel block. The second one, the smack the gel block, I didn't get a velocity on that one. But the third one, which I have listed as shot two, that I did get the velocity on, uh, it finished up at 61.5 inches of penetration. And we only have 64 inches of gel block. And I kept sticking another piece and another chunk and another chunk until finally I had all four pieces of gel block out there. And, uh, and we did finally get a catch without it going through and hitting the, the steel plate on the back end. Um, the Smith and Wesson Model 69 with that two and three quarter inch barrel, that had a th at a thousand and nine foot per second, a thousand and nine foot per second had thirty six inches of penetration, three feet. So, you know, this is the model that Smith and Wesson is is uh, marketing as a concealed carry uh, platform, and the model that a lot of hikers and a lot of campers and a lot of uh, uh, Northwest hunters uh, uh, tend to gravitate to because of the short barrel and, and the ease of, of being able to carry it with the pack and the other gear that they have. Uh, the Taurus Tracker at 1,062, so you got an extra, I say, inch and a quarter barrel, but actually the last inch is not threaded because of the ports, but uh, it only had a 62 foot, um, actually wasn't even that, it was a 53 foot velocity bump. Uh, with the extra barrel length, 
but it did go ahead and hit 48 inches plus of penetration. So uh, 62 foot makes a big difference out here. So, all right, read through this. Uh, if you got any questions, let's, let's have those in the comments. If you've got any comments, we'll put them in the comments as well. And if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. My link tree is currently down. Uh, I have decided Linktree is a very liberal, uh, not gun friendly platform. And at some point, the day after the election, uh, they hammered me for posting up a, a link and they banned my account with no warning, no recourse to remove the link that I didn't know was uh, not allowed because it matched all the other types of links that was on my link tree. And uh, so, uh, what triggered them into that action, I don't know. And honestly, I don't care. I'm moving away from Linktree. I'm going to start my own uh, web page. It'll be KentuckyRangetime.com. Uh, and I will be working with one of my buddies to get a web page designed uh, throughout the next week. And we'll have access to all those affiliate links posted up there, uh, hopefully within a week or so. So, all right, guys. I will be changing out all my Linktree stuff to to my webpage when it happens. And if you guys have been using my links to, to do shopping or anything, I do appreciate that. And I apologize for the inconvenience so I can get those back up. So, all right, guys, Matt from Kentucky Range Time, and we'll catch you on the next one.